Josh Holmes. <laughs> Oh, my. Well, listen, I don't believe that this White House actually believes you can underutilize Kamala Harris. I, I think they, if they could put her next to the bowling alley down in the basement of the White Ooh. House for the next three years, that they would they would do that. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw a couple of weeks back when they hired a, uh, a Canadian talent agency to surround her with, with kids oh, pretending saw. to be excited about what she had to say about. But, I mean, that is just, for me, a perfect microcosm of the entire vice presidency of Kamala Harris. She has no ability to connect with people. They don't put her in position to try to interact with Congress because they don't think she has any influence there either. The question is, like, what does she do, right? I mean, they sent her over to France, and, I mean, other than faking a French accent, I'm not sure what she got done mm. over there either. So, I mean, look, I think they've got a real problem with Kamala Harris, her profile, and I'm not, just, I'm not sure that they can restore it anytime soon. So when you give those examples, I mean, it would be better for her if, you know, you were just being funny. The problem is you're being factual and funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know that's the problem. Yeah, <laughs> Harris. I just heard her say she doesn't feel misused or underused. Except we have more than three dozen sources. That's what CNN got. More than three yeah. dozen sources saying she is. That's nearly 40 people saying she feels misused or underused. So I think there is a little truth to the matter when you have that many sources. And she complains about you know media coverage and she's being attacked. You know, Jen Psaki says it's because of her identity that she's being attacked. This woman began this presidency with these kinds of headlines. It was fawning coverage, Harris. You'll remember New York Times, 100 days of vice presidential style. Los Angeles Times created a beat for Kamala Harris called Covering Kamala Harris, a beat dedicated to her historic rise to the White House. This is someone who started with fawning media, has since lost the media because, oh wait, not her identity, her job performance. The border's on fire. She didn't get voting ah. rights legislation passed. Her ability, or ineptitude, I should say, is the reason she's losing the media. So, Kaylee, what's really interesting, on the Faulkner Focus, we found those pieces of President Biden saying, looking for a woman, looking for a woman of color, and making those promises that those were going to be the things he was looking for. And, and now what you're saying is that those things had nothing to do with her failure. Exactly. Like the, 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 what he matched with her job and the specificity of her for that job now has nothing to do, Emily, with why she's struggling on that job. It was a need for maybe skill sets that were specific to what she does. Right, which is hitting the nail on the head, Harris, because what did we expect? This is like when you, you know, mm. your friends are in a relationship and someone's like, well, when we have a baby, it'll be different. When we get married, it'll be different. Nothing will be different by putting her in the vice presidential seat from her as a campaigner, which was absolutely horrendous. Even the New York Times called her an uneven candidate who continues switching messages and tactics to no effect. The reason she never made it to the Iowa caucus is because she was in single digit polling and dropped out because she couldn't connect with voters. The attorney general position and the DA position of San Francisco were essentially of, of uh, California, respectively, were handed to her. So she never had to earn the hearts and the minds of Californians who saw right through her very shallow campaigning, her very shallow comments, because she never followed through. So to those of us who, who saw that side of her, which I think is growing into the millions now, given her abysmal polling rate, we see that what you see is what you get, and what we get is what they voted for. You know, it's interesting, Tommy. I wonder if the other women of color in the president's constellation as then candidate are saying, like a Stacey Plaskett or a Val Demings or a Stacey Abrams are saying, why her? I, I, I just wonder what those conversations are like. I think a lot of women, including myself, are really disappointed at the fact that she is our first female vice president uh, because it, she's filling the shoes that somebody that much, much more qualified could have filled. But I also got to say this. I don't give a rat's patootie how she feels, if she feels misused or underutilized. Hmm. I care about our country and the future of our country. So instead of sitting on The View and Good Morning America and trying to make herself seem more likable and do damage control about her reputation, how about she goes down to our southern border at the millions of people who are invading it and start there. And then when she's done there, when she's cleaned that up and helped to secure our border, actually, then maybe she can go and find some green jobs for people like in my home state of South Dakota who had their pipeline canceled and now have been promised these green Whoa. new jobs for months now and haven't gotten them. So instead of her reputation and worrying about what people think of her, maybe she should do her actual job and worry about our country. And the same goes for her boss, President Biden. Uh, White House spokesperson. 
Jen Psaki, the press secretary, said the vice president is facing more criticism, not because of all the things that you just mentioned, Tommy Lahren, but because she is a woman and a woman of color. Watch. I think there's no question on this? that <laughs> the type of attacks, the attacks on her, um, that, um, that certainly um, being the first, which she is many times over, um, is part of that. She is the first uh, African-American woman, woman of color, um, Indian-American woman to serve in this job. Woman, I mean, so many firsts, right? It's a lot to have on your shoulders. Woman, 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 woman. How about vice president getting things done? Say that three times fast. <laughs> Josh? I mean, look, that, that's answer one, two, three, four, and basically the entire playbook for Democrats these days, anytime any, anybody has a failure, right? It's because of how they look and what their gender is, not because of what they're actually doing for a living. In her mm -hmm. case, failing at almost everything she's touched. And so I, I don't think it has anything to do with being a first of anything. I think it has a lot to do with her competency. Wow. By the way, we have a lot of women on this show. <laughs> and you, yeah. of course, Josh, <laughs> in the center seat. <laughs> I mean, I, I think most people are talking about what we say, what we do, those sorts of things. Let's let's see what happens. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.